A grim turning point in Hong Kong, the first death of a protester linked to the unrest. The impact was immediate, with people taking to the streets, paying tribute and calling for justice. 22-year-old Chow Tzu Lok died from his injuries in hospital, days after plummeting from the upper floor of a parking garage. Officials haven't ruled out that he may have been running from tear gas fired by police. It has already been fortunate that uh, uh, no other person has um, you know, passed away directly from the police violence already. But we've seen shooting by the police. At the University of Science and Technology, where Chow studied, students held a minute's silence. As for protest leaders, they want answers. Firstly, we need to find out the truth. Secondly, we need to conduct a thorough investigation to know why it took the police and first aid 20 minutes to arrive. His death is bound to intensify anger in the Chinese territory. Demonstrations first began in June, when the government tried to introduce a bill to extradite criminal suspects to mainland China, before caving in to the protesters' demands and withdrawing it. Since then, the protesters have widened their demands, calling for, among other things, an inquiry into claims of police brutality.